and shortly after that's when AJ Lee was like emerging and getting into like all these storylines and eventually she had um her her own version of a pipe bomb and stuff like that and just generally she represented um this woman who was not like the others who dressed differently who was a misfit um you know and i really resonated with that and i loved the way she talked on the mic i loved the way she wrestled like she makes everything look so easy <laughs> she does like a total world ddt and it's like she's as light as a feather and it's like it looks so cool and she really um she exaggerates her moves and stuff like that and i love that i love that i thought it was so different and yeah ever since like i was a huge aj lee fan and she really taught me that like okay if a girl like her can make it someone who's like 53 and you know who doesn't have blonde hair or you know stuff like that like if she can make it then so can i you know and that inspired me to actually have her um logo on my wrist oh wow so this was my very first uh tattoo ever and yeah, it just, it reminds me of her, it reminds me to stay weird and to just be myself and that I can get places. I love that, stay weird. I, I love that, it's like your own version of, um, I'm a huge Beetlejuice fan and um, Winona Ryder in that movie always says, I myself am strange and unusual. And that's what they always say about myself. So it's kind of cool, you have your own version of that, stay weird. Yeah, she had it like on her shirt once, like she wore it to Raw and it had Stay Weird on it. So I was like, yeah, this is like, I love this girl so much. Like I really can like relate to her. 